Proofhub tutorial, how to use Proofhub for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with Proofhub. So let's get into it. Now, Proofhub is a online platform that enables you to combine all of your projects and collaborate with your team. It is basically a project management or a business management tool that enables you to view your work, create custom workflows, add tasks, custom roles, organize, collaborate and deliver your work. So let's get into Proofhub. Now to get started, all you have to do is click on the top right on proofhub.com, start your free trial. And from here, you just want to input all of your basic information and you will get a 14 day free trial. Now, once you have entered all of your basic information, you will have to get started with setting up your Proofhub. So first off, you want to enter your team, how large your team is, or if it's a organization. So let's say we are running with a team, you will select your team name, your time zone, and what is going to be the first project that you're working on. So we want to work on our brand launch. And after that, you can get started with setting up your first tasks. I'm just going to uh, continue on with this as it is because I really don't need to set it up like this. I'm going to change it up anyways. But this is what your proof hub is going to look like once you have created your account. So first off, you get some uh, default tasks and lists that you can add or remove. You can customize these however you want. You have your first project and if you want to go into your home, you can see you have projects, you have your brand launch, whichever project that you created. Then you also have a overview from here where you can get a overview of the entire project. And this is what I really like about using Proofhub is that it provides you with a actual overview. It provides you with a workable space where you can accomplish your tasks. So for us, we want to launch our clothing brand and we are going to get started with it. So first off, I'm going to go into the me section and I'm just going to skip this walkthrough. I'm going to remove this and we're going to get started with a new project. So you can click on templates over here and you know click on add template over here you can create a basic template if you have multiple different projects you want to work on but we are going to get started with a new project and i'm going to name it brand launch and it will be in this red color now after that i'm going to add a description and now after that you can add multiple different assignees so multiple different people that are managing this then you can add a project manager then you will have your start date or end date so let's say i'm going to add that and the start date could be right now now after that you have your category so you can add multiple different categories of your project especially if you're working on multiple different businesses at once or unrelated projects so you can add a category of bed and clothing so you can just add a category of dead in clothing or you can even create subcategories. So maybe I want to separate my project for the physical pop-up store and the e-commerce launch. So I want them to be categorized differently because different teammates would be working on it. So I would just categorize them differently. Now I'm going to click on next and you can add the specific tabs that you need. I would want all of these. So I'm going to continue on. And now you can see in my projects, you have your brand launch, the first one that I created. I can delete that later on as well. Uh, I can just click on manage over here and you can click on trash to remove any kind of uh, data from it. And then you can remove the workflow as well once you have removed all of the data from your workflow. Uh, now I'm just going to go into our new data set and we're going to begin by taking a look at our tasks now tasks are where you can just set due date set you know all of your basic things that need to be accomplished so let's say we have our launch party set up it's in our basic workflow then you can add these stages so we have a to-do list for that and then you can add a specific timesheet as well so the estimated amount of time certain tasks will take and this can enable you to set up your invoices or payments for your uh, clients even for your own employees if you want to pay them you can manage that if you have to set it as uh, a billing to a client you can also show them you know this is how we're tracking our time tracking and you can also add a specific milestone now milestones are especially great if you're working a uh, multiple different projects to which are hierarchically building up to your specific uh, you know business development or to reach a specific milestone so i'm just going to add this as it is this is our first basic task i've added which is our launch party set up 
and I'm just going to click on over here and then I can uh, you know get started with the to do list within the launch party setup so this is like one individual task and then within that I'm just creating a to do list so for the setup let's say I have so like this, I can have multiple different tasks and then I can assign a different person to it. Then I can set updates as well, as well as the overall progress. Maybe there is some relevant file or information that needs to be added. I can add those. I can even add subtasks within this to-do list. So within the to-do list, let's say I want to add for event decor, let's say I have so let's say within my event decor, I have these three things that need to be accomplished separately. So I can add these in a subtask and the person that is the assignee can take them off as they go. And once a task has been completed, it can be moved to the done section. So it's more easier to keep track of everything as it goes. Now, the best part about using this kind of platform is that you can go into Gantt charts that will enable you to actually see all of your tasks in a better format. So Gantt charts basically allow you to set up a timeline view, you could say. So I can click on add title. And just like that, I have a Gantt chart like this. We have our brand launch and I can just close this up a little, make it slightly smaller. And then I can do a day by day tracker. I can just zoom into this and I can click on the top right over here and highlight any critical path that is important within any section. So if I go back into my task and set up my due dates over here, so we have our brand launch and I can add a um, specific item uh, for our brand launch. So it could be so catering and setting up food stores. Now, if I go ahead and go into my GAT chart, or first off, I'm going to add, you know, my due dates in this, like so. And then I can go over here and I can actually see the brand launch. I will be able to see everything. I can just zoom in to get a deeper view of it, like so. Now you have a important task, you can go on ahead and click on highlight critical path and you can highlight this to uh, to be able to see is to be able to see all the details and see how everything needs to be accomplished. You can also set a baseline. So any previous baseline that you have created would be overwritten uh, when you do set this up. Now you can also click on show baseline. This just allows you to see all of the work that needs to be accomplished. Now, after that, you have a calendar view, which will enable you to see all of the tasks that you have set up over the course of the month or week. You can view it in two weeks like this. You can view it daily or weekly to just see the events, milestones or tasks. You can also choose to just see tasks or just see events or milestones for a particular item. Now, after that, you will be able to see a time section. This time section allows you to manage time set our log hours for all of your assignees, all of your uh, employees or all of your co-workers and you can just say so we can have planning as our basic task and you can add time and log that time over here which can be really helpful in just being able to bill to your client or bill or you know pay your employees. Now after that you have some basic charts that can help you in getting a overall report. So the number of tasks, the people, the overall time and this just really helps you visualize and see how far along your project is coming. So. I hope you guys have found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Proofhub. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.